and welcome to this tutorial on Grass Valley Edius. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go through a basic edit using Edius so you get an idea of the whole procedure from getting footage off an AVC HD camera to making a Blu-ray disc. The other tutorials which you can buy off the website go through every other aspect of Edius including making DVDs, capturing, configuring and exporting different kinds of files. Here we have a typical DVC computer you can see down here I've got various programs installed including things like Adobe Premiere. It is actually possible to have programs like Premiere and Edius on the same system. In fact we do that quite a lot. If you go to your computer up here and double click on it you can see you'll have a main drive and one or two video drives just depending on how we've configured it. I've also got a Blu-ray and DVD writer and a card reader. Right so what I want to do is I'm going to start off Edius and get ready to do a project using footage from an AVC HD camera. So, first thing you do is double click on the icon and it starts up EDIUS. Up pops this window just as EDIUS is initializing. Oh, it says eight logical processors down there. I'm dying to see a day where it says eight illogical processors. And then you're presented with this screen. The top section along here is to do with user profiles. Now, if you're using EDIUS Neo, you won't have this. For the moment, I'm going to ignore this section. We'll talk about that more in the configuring EDIUS part of the tutorial. Right now, I just want to start up a new project. Well, the bottom of the screen here is showing me all the previous projects that I fiddled with, but I don't want to do any of that. I just want to click on this one and start a new project. And then I'm presented with a screen which shows me lots of possible project presets. Now, these are the standard ones that we set up on our systems. You might have different ones. You might have NTSC. You might have all sorts of different sizes. EDIUS can do bigger than high definition sizes. It can do 10 bit, 8 bit color, all sorts of stuff. So you might have different settings. These cover what we think are the most common ones people use. In other words, full high definition, HDV, standard definition at 4x3, and standard definition at 16x9. Which one do you choose? Well, it all depends on your footage and what you're trying to do. Personally, I'm trying to make a Blu-ray disc at 1920-1080, so I'm going to choose that. So apart from choosing your project preset, the other thing you want to do is to give the project a name. When Idius gets set up, there's a default folder for the projects. Now this should be on one of your video drives. If you have a look at your computer, you can see I've got two video drives here, a D drive and an E drive. So either of those is fine. It's defaulting to go on the D drive in a folder called EDIUS. Now I'm going to give this project a name. And you'll notice EDIUS is actually going to create a little folder in there with the name of the project, which is great. Basically, everything I do from now on will go into that folder. I'll know where everything is for this project. So literally, come up here, give it a name, choose your project preset, click OK. And then you're into EDIUS proper. Now, I'm having to work on quite a low resolution screen here so that you can actually see this properly as a tutorial. So everything's a little bit squashed. EDIUS is a lot nicer if you've got a higher resolution screen. I'm working at 1280-720 for this tutorial. So basically, it'll be nicer if it's spread out a bit more. And if you've got two screens as opposed to one, that's better as well. If you've opened up EDIUS for the first time and the windows don't quite fit your screens, or maybe you've got two screens and they don't quite fit them, just pop up to View, go to Windows Layout, and then Normal. And it'll spread out all the EDIUS windows over all your computer screens. So it's a very quick way to get up and running. Now normally with an editing program you have two windows. You have one which shows you clips before they go on the timeline, which is generally called the player, and another which shows you the clips after they're on the timeline, which is called the recorder. And you can see I can only see one of them up here. I do have player and recorder there, so I can pop between the two. But if I prefer to have two of them, again, come up to the view menu and choose dual mode. And now you can have two screens. I'm going to leave it on one at the moment because it's a bit bigger and I can see things a bit better. So now I'm into EDIUS. We've got various windows. We'll go through some of them here. But obviously you've got a timeline, which is where you lay stuff out. You've got a window that shows you the edit. You've got a project window, which shows you the stuff you could be using. And then there's stuff like a list of effects, a list of markers, an information palette, and then this thing, which is called the source browser. And this is what I'm going to use to get my footage in, my ABC HD footage. Okay, well at the moment my camera is not even plumbed in, so that's the first thing I've got to do is plug in my camera. There we are, my camera's plumbed in, and as soon as it got plugged in, you can see up pops this window saying, oh, you've plugged something in. 
Now I'm using a hard drive based camera which is a Panasonic 700 AVC HD camera. We'll talk about capturing off tape and analog and all sorts of things in the capturing section of the tutorial. Right now I'm just going to get some footage off this AVC HD camera. Because it's got a hard drive I've plugged it in via a USB cable. Now if it's a card based camera I might take the card out of the camera and pop it into a card reader. Effectively they'll all do the same thing. You'll plug it in in some way and your computer will see it. Now at the moment the footage isn't in EDIUS ready to edit. It's just seen it. So there we are. Yep, I'm happy. Now I'm not going to do anything else with this. I'm just going to click on the little X in the corner and get it out of the way. Because I'm going to get all the footage into EDIUS by using this thing. The Source Browser. Now looking at this lot here you can see I've got a list of all sorts of different formats. If you're using EDIUS Neo you won't necessarily have all of these. But you can see one thing down here which says removable media and it then says cam HD which you'll notice was the name of that disk drive or the name of the camera as soon as I plumbed it into the computer. There's even a folder called ABC HD so let's just click on that. Well you click on that and the next thing that happens is EDIUS will then show you a list of all the clips which are on the camera. Now I've got a 250 gigabyte hard drive in my camera. So I've got an awful lot of clips on there. Because it's a little bit slow and it's ABC HD footage, it'll take a little bit of time for EDIUS to pop up with the little icons and show me what the pictures are or show me what the footage is. But once it has, I'll be able to choose out of this list all the footage that I want to use in my edit. I can look at it in various ways. So if I come up to the top of the project window here, you can see there's a little icon that says View. If I click on it, it will cycle between different views. Some of them have icons, some of them are large icons with a small amount of text, smaller icons, icons with a huge amount of other information. In my case I'm going to pop down to this one with small icons and lots of different information. Now what's the information? Well it's stuff like when this was filmed, what format it is, what kind of footage it is, this is ABC HD footage and so on. Now I could wait for all these things to pop up and I can eventually find the clips that I want. I happen to know that all the footage I want was filmed on the 30th of June. So I'm just going to pop down this list and find the 30th of June. Doesn't appear to be quite in date order. So what I'm going to do is actually click on where it says record date time. I'm going to click on it and it'll put it in date order. Now I can look and oh there's my footage. 30th of June I want this stuff. If I want to have a quick look at any of the footage, I can just double click on it and it'll put it up into the source here and then you can play it and see what the footage is. But I don't want to do that. All I want to do really is grab all the footage from the 30th of June and put it into my project. So I'm just going to select the top one, hold down on shift, select the bottom one and then I'm going to right click and say add and transfer to bin. What that's going to do is to take the footage from the camera and copy it onto my computer. So let's set that going. You can see in the bin here, when I've come into the bin, there's those clips which I've selected to come across. As you can see, this little H with a downward arrow, that's saying this is a clip that's being copied. You can even see the percentage that it's being copied. As soon as it's finished copying a clip, it then goes on to the next one, and so on. So I'm just going to wait for that to finish. Another footage is finished copying across. I'm going to get on with the rest of the edit. At this point, I've finished with the camera. By going to the source browser, right clicking and add and transfer to bin, EDIUS has actually taken the footage off the camera. It doesn't delete it, it leaves it on the camera, but it's copied it off the camera and put it into the same place as your project. Now in my case, if you remember, mine was on the D drive in a folder called EDIUS, quick edit. And you'll now notice I've got a folder there called transferred, which is all that footage which has been copied off of the camera and put into EDIUS ready to be used. I don't even have to look at this stuff, just let EDIUS do it. Find the clips on your camera, select them, right click, add and transfer to bin, then unplug your camera and start editing. So, how do I unplug the camera? Well, there's obviously two ways. One, you could just yank the cable out the back. But what I prefer to do is to actually eject the camera. So I just minimize that, go to my computer, 
right click and say eject and Windows pops up and says yep it's safe to remove that camera now. I like to eject things purely because especially in the old days of uh, Windows XP if I just yanked the cable out it would sometimes corrupt everything that's on the camera or on the hard drive so I always like to eject stuff like hard drives and USB pens and cards. So right click, eject, unplug the camera. Let's come back down to the taskbar here click on the EDIUS icon and bring up EDIUS. And there you see I've still got the clips in the bin because they've been copied off the camera and stuck into my project folder. Now I want to edit with them. 